Hey folks, good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Friday night, February 3rd, 2023. It's about 10, 11 p.m. here along the West Coast in California. And latest activity shows some movement, 2.1 into Southern California. This comes after a 3.0 coming in uh, within the last hour. Let's go ahead and check out the specifics here of earthquake activity. Ramping up there in the state of California. Got uh, a little line of new earthquake activity ramping up here. That three-pointer coming in just uh, southwest of the Redlands area, north of Riverside, on the northern segment here of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. That one coming in, uh, as mentioned, just a few minutes ago. Uh, also some activity working its way up north along the plate boundary, the San Andreas plate uh, fault system here, with a 2.1, 8.2 kilometers deep. Three-pointer was a little bit deeper here. Uh, some movement also off the San Gabriel fault zone. Uh, that one coming in within the last hour as well, 2.5. So we've technically seen a little swarm of activity here over the last hour in Southern California, lighting things up right now. Uh, definitely a broader uh, and noticeable uptick in earthquake activity currently happening uh, there in Southern California. Now I do have um, I do have a station down there monitoring activity there around Barrett, which is uh, roughly within this vicinity here of Southern California, and it's still showing some activity uh, kicking up. Uh, in the uh, region of Southern California. So we'll watch this. Uh, no major swarming taking place here currently, but a, uh, a line of activity up against the plate boundary here. And that's something to watch here pretty closely because we know the uh, Southern segment here of the San Andreas Fault is definitely overdue. Um, I think a lot of fault systems out here are uh, ripe and ready, so to speak, in terms of producing a large earthquake. We'll keep a watch on that, folks. Uh, we've been living in some quieter times here recently, but uh, it's not always going to be that way. Uh, one little earthquake along the creeping segment here of the San Andreas Fault near Pinnacles, a 1.2. An overall sign of some increasing movement out here along the west coast. I'll be on guard. Uh, some activity also off the coast here of Nicar uh, Nicaragua. Been a while since I messed that up. A 4.3 coming in about uh, half an hour or so ago into the Middle America Trench, 61 kilometers deep. Uh, activity across the rest of the North American plate here, uh, aside from California, shows a little scattered activity across Nevada and Utah and a little bit of movement up here in Yellowstone. Uh, last one looks like it was a 0.9 earthquake, but that's kind of way down here, away from Yellowstone. Uh, let me see what we got here for the latest activity in the Yellowstone region. I know we did kick off a little bit of swarming late last night, early this morning. Let's see what it looks like right now. Looks like over the uh, late, afternoon, uh, late afternoon, early evening time period, things have calmed down quite nicely. There's some of those earthquakes that were being reported there by the USGS. Uh, so overall, looks like that swarming activity is kind of mellowed out there at Yellowstone currently. Uh, not showing a whole lot of activity. Uh, west, the uh, western Texas area still seeing some movement around the Stanton, Texas area, 3.1. That's just outside of the Midland area. Uh, I do know there's some oil fields out here galore. We're not going to get into that uh, tonight, but there's all these earthquakes have been happening around the uh, oil fields recently there in Texas. Uh, New Madrid zone and the eastern portion of the country, pretty quiet. Uh, New Zealand, of course, we had that 5 point, uh, well, it looks like they downgraded it a little bit to 5.0. Still deep, 101 kilometers deep for a 5.0, almost directly underneath this, this uh, super volcano here in New Zealand, Lake Taupo super volcano. Now I know they've had a couple smaller earthquakes following that uh, five pointer. Looks like a 3.1 in there uh, as well. And some movement up around the Tonga Trench. Uh, some shallow earthquake activity up here, 5.2. 10 kilometers deep, so let's see what we got here for the GeoNet servers as we uh, zoom in over here real quick. Uh, there's that five-pointer, light earthquake reported, but we need to go to the all magnitudes here 
and uh, see what else has taken place within this region. Since then, uh, 2.1 down on the uh, close to the Alpine Fault there, the, uh, South Island area. A couple other ones. There's a 2.4. Uh, so there's that 3.1 within the Taupo supervolcano area, 79 kilometers deep. That earthquake coming in uh, just a short time after the five-pointer earlier today, but uh, within the same vicinity, although a little bit more, uh, a little bit sh shallower in the uh, depth department. So we'll watch that and see if uh, we get a swarm going on out there in New Zealand. Now the volcanic drums. Let's see what we got across the area of Taupo Super Volcano. Uh, there is the five-pointer that uh, basically started over here. You can see the uh, remainder of that uh, moderate-sized uh, uh, earthquake. And there is that three-pointer. I'm guessing that's going to be the three-pointer that came in a short time afterwards. Right now, it doesn't look like there's any swarming. hasn't really done anything to that super volcano uh, aside from making the, well, making the, a nice signature here across the majority of the seismograph drums here on uh, with this volcano monitoring. All right, uh, let's see what else we have around the Vanuatu area. Some earthquake activity. Uh, this one coming in early this morning, a 5.1. Uh, more recent here, a 4.6 around the uh, Papua New Guinea area. This one's pretty deep, 176 kilometers deep. We're starting to fill in this region a little bit. Uh, of course, New Zealand as well filling in down there. Um, these have been some absent uh, areas, uh, meaning that the activity has been uh, fairly minimal in terms of earthquake activity. It looks like we're starting to catch up a little bit here in that uh, department in those areas. Uh, a little bit further uptick, it looks like, north around the Philippines. Uh, let's see here. Those look like a couple threes. I'm kind of curious, though, see how deep these are. Um, 3.5, one kilometer deep, 39 kilometers deep there for that uh, earthquake. I think I'm going to have to change the uh, color on here. Uh, the selected flag probably shouldn't be green as the most recent one. By the way, 4.7 coming in here into the uh, Mediterranean region right now. Let's see exactly what's going on here in this area of the world near the uh, Malta region, that looks like. 72 kilometers deep. Uh, Central Mediterranean Sea coming in about 15 minutes ago. The interactive map here shows uh, specifically where the epicenter struck here. Not a huge earthquake, uh, but I would definitely say we've seen a, you know, a trend towards uh, uh, towards some uptick out here around the Mediterranean recently. In fact, um, what do we got up here in China? Uh, let's see. 5.0, that one coming in early this morning, so it doesn't look like anything new uh, into the China region. Uh, 2.6 Java Trench area. A broad area of movement here overnight, or uh, this afternoon and um, evening time period uh, from New Zealand all the way up, uh, even into areas of Australia where they've seen a 2.6, five kilometers deep. Been no, noticing a little bit of trend of activity here over the past week. Uh, some twos and whatnot. I think we've seen uh, a little bit more activity uh, within that region here than normal. Uh, let's see what else we have here. South America, fairly quiet uh, as far as new activity goes. Now, I want to make sure I don't have this overblown in terms of uh, the amount of earthquakes that are up here on the globe. Still kind of working with the new one a little bit. Uh, didn't I just see a 4.2 in there? That's kind of a little weird. Thought I seen a newer one coming in. That was uh, 4.2 around 6 o'clock today. So uh, some threes and fours there in the mix. And uh, of course up here around the uh, Nicar Nicaragua area. We've got some other earthquake activity near Costa Rica. It looks like it's coming in some twos and threes further within this area. So uh, a pretty broad region of activity here kicking up tonight, I would definitely say. 
Um, up here into the Alaska region, uh, we did have quite a few fours. This activity here kicking up in a swarm fashion. We added another four-pointer to the, uh, the list of earthquakes up here, 45 kilometers deep. This one coming in just about 6.30 or so, my time. And uh, still fairly active across the Cook Inlet area up to the uh, Denali region. Western Pacific here, very quiet, aside from some of those smaller quakes here around the Philippines and the Taiwan area. The big island of Hawaii. Uh, this is kind of the quiet zone, surprisingly. Only got about 10 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. No major swarm, no major uh, changes there at the volcanic, uh, or at the uh, volcanoes there. Kilauea, of course, still continuing to erupt. But uh, I'm kind of kind of curious about this trend of earthquake activity currently happening. Uh, let's see, this 3.0, not a huge earthquake whatsoever, but uh, when it's followed by a couple other earthquakes up and down the plate boundary uh, it's got me scratching my head of maybe we should be watching this zone here for uh, a larger quake a little bit of reporting uh, being picked up near riverside area it looks like some very light to weak shaking from that three-pointer again not not definitely not a big earthquake but uh, you guys notice that trend here and it stretches a, a pretty good distance and most of it is on the um, Pacific side of the plate boundary. We've got one earthquake here right smack dab onto the San Andreas Fault, a little 0.8 coming in following all of this activity. Um, I don't know. A lot of times I'm going to issue uh, an earthquake watch if we, if we see, well, certain areas that are swarming, so to speak, uh, in, in terms of, you know, the relation to the... Uh, uh, the San Andreas Fault here, the plate boundary, if they're very close or within the vicinity, uh, if that swarms, you know, very close, we'll issue an earthquake watch. Uh, but on this scale here, um, this is another reason to possibly watch the Southern California area um, for some further movement because of this broad area of activity. And this is just continuing here with that earthquake popping up within the last couple minutes as I've, uh, as I've been doing this update here. So, um, yeah, definitely might want to watch the SoCal area with this type of uh, elevated activity. All right, uh, let's see Pacific Northwest, pretty quiet, only a couple smaller quakes. Uh, look at the trimmer map here tonight along the Cascadia subduction zone. Shows 45 epicenters of trimmer. That's going to be the number tonight. Not a huge number. In fact, a, a considerable drop from uh, the past couple days. And again, situated around the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here. The space weather activity is uh, very calm, folks. It's, it's, I think it's going to be that way for a little bit. Uh, we did have a, a little jet of pl a plasma kicking off from the northeastern limb much earlier today. Uh, sometimes those... Uh, that type of activity does happen, but uh, it is directed away from Earth. And the sunspot regions here, most of them look fairly uh, uh, minimal at best. One region we may need to watch is over here around the northeastern limb of the sun. That is, uh, doesn't look like it's been named yet. Uh, and it's been in position for a little while, so maybe they're, you know, they're waiting. It should be named 3209, possibly. That should be the next numbered... Uh, sunspot there and we'll keep an eye on that one as it does look like it is growing slightly kind of see it up here on this uh, on this uh, different view of it as well lighten up a little bit no major coronal holes facing us and no major space weather events forecasted roars look uh, just a little bit on the elevated side up into the uh, Canada regions but uh, overall I think things should be um, should stay fairly mellow uh, for the uh, foreseeable future. All right, folks, have yourself a good night. Stay safe out there. And um, what do we got coming in now? now there's that 4.1. What do we got here? Got a 4.1 coming into this area. Oh, man. Yeah, it's just 
It's rocking right now, folks. This, uh, there's a lot of uptick in earthquake activity all over the place. Definitely uh, got something large brewing out here, I believe. We'll see how it, uh, definitely see how this plays out overnight. We'll catch you guys um, sometime tomorrow. Have a good evening.